Welcome, welcome my fellow familiars. I hope you guys are having the best day ever. And today will be the last episode that we will be looking at the deck suggested by a viewer, Brett Robbins. And, well, I called it Turbo Spirits for the lack of better name. Scooby, level 1, 11 opponent. We're up against. Good, good, good. Now, two planes. Edward, oh, oh, this is beautiful. Let's keep this hand. With Erdwell Eliminator, with Topol Gaze, with Essence Flux. Well, eventually we'll get to Crash of Tentacles, but we do have two lands necessary to play three of the spells. Let's see what the opponent does. There's the planes. And that's it. I'll play an island. Ooh. Okay. I'll play Glacial Fortress first. Come on. Game. Don't you disconnect on me. Okay, good. I don't know what's been happening, but for the past couple of days, guys, my internet has been absolutely the worst, so... Uh, hopefully it gets a little bit better and I don't get any disconnects today. If I do... Uh, oh well, what can I do about it? Okay then. Oh, our opponent had more than 60 cards in his deck, so we're up against the uh, unorthodox deck. There is Olivia's Bloodsworn, target vampire gains haste. I think he's no match against Erdwell Eliminator, which is good. And we have always watching on top of all. Okay. Uh, game. Game's being really laggy for some reason. Oh well. There we are. We have a response to his vampire. Good. And next turn, I will play uh, always watching. Thus allowing me to swing with Erdwell Eliminator. And afterwards I can do Topol Gaze and keep Essence Flux up, which will be pretty good too. Wow, our opponent is not Vampire's deck. He's white, black and green. I don't think green has any good vamp any Vampires actually, let alone good Vampires. Okay then. So let's see. Yeah, I think that's the best choice. And then once we draw into more we can play Apothecary Gaze eventually. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What will the opponent do? Jeez, he's really taking his sweet time there. Oh well, let him, if he chooses to. Oh, there's another Olivia's Bloodsworn, that's fine. Swing time. No swinging occurs, that's good. Okay then, we have even tenacity, so island, always watching, there we go. Now that's a 2-4, he can't block so I can swing easily, R resting easy knowing that our opponent won't be able to do much harm to us, that's good. Okay, and our opponent does not have red I presume, good, there we are. Next turn definitely topple gaze and I'll keep essence flux up, maybe pumping up air draw eliminator to 3-5 or maybe pumping up topple gaze to a 3-3, we'll see. Either option will be pretty good. Anyways, I think our opponent does have to swing with Olivia's Bloodsworn because what else could he possibly do? I don't think he's going to have indulgent aristocrat in there because if he did he would have already played it. And for him waiting with two creatures that can't even block really is pretty useless. Okay. And our opponent is just gonna continue waiting. That's fine, that's fine. Whatever floats his boat, I guess. Jeez, this is really slow. Okay, there's Tali's Lieutenant. Well, that's not gonna do him any good. Okay, that was a completely useless play, I guess. But at the same time, he probably just wanted to get some creatures out on the board. Let's do hope we draw into one more land necessary so I can play Apothecary Gaze. But if we don't, Topol Gaze is still gonna be pretty good. Having tenacity up afterwards would be also nice. Well, we'll see. Crush of tentacles. 
I might keep the thing is here guys I'm keeping topple keys more or less to do crash of tentacles because crash of tentacles cost six mana Surge cost is 5 mana, so if I do have 6 mana, I can play Toppelgeist and just do Crush of Tentacles, and it'll work out pretty well for us. Okay, Core Blade Whirl. Yeah, one has first strike, okay. And that's it. Oh well. Ooh, we can do double Toppelgeist with Apothecary Geist. I kinda like that, so Toppelgeist. Let's topple. Doesn't matter. We got flyers all over the place. Another topple gazed. Let's core blade roll gets topple gazed. There we are, and we have essence flux. Good. We swing. We confirm. We will do essence flux. Here we are. Okay, good. Now let's see what happens. He does do any of the flyers, I'm definitely doing essence flux. Oh, he does have the red mana, wow! Okay. Is he going to attack? If he doesn't, there's 6 damage going to his face next turn. And I don't think it's gonna be pretty. Oh, Avacyn, nice! We swing, confirm. And there is the bug in the game which doesn't wait on a main face if you don't have anything except instance. Okay, our opponent's down to 10. Let's move on. Now, what can he do? He has 3 cards in hand. He's at 10 health. He has pretty crappy creatures overall. There is a 4, so now 2 cards. Declaration and Stone. Doppelgeist. Hold on. Essence Flux. Doppelgeist. Will it fizzle? I think it will fizzle. Choose a creature to tap. Um, I'm going to tap... Who do I want to tap down? I think this. Yeah. You get tapped, buddy. And this just fizzles. There we are. Investigate would have been nice, but... I don't think I was okay with losing double Toppelgeist. Okay, so next turn our opponent is going to take 7 damage to his face instead of 6. Ooh, planes. We do have tenacity up, <laughs> but I think apothecary gaze is better at first. So let's gain a life. There we are. Okay, we swing, and that's pretty much victory. That's it. Next turn I'll do tenacity and swing just for shits and giggles. There we are. Upon us at three health, a single apothecary gaze is going to take care of everything. There's no way he's going to be able to remove four creatures. So he's got two cards in hand. And there's the attack phase. He hasn't even attempted to swing at us even once. That's pretty stupid, I gotta say. The whole game is pretty stupid. What level was our opponent? Level 11, right? Yep, Scooby. Not sure how he got to that level with this deck. I know I'm being arrogant here, guys, but seriously, this deck and all that, I just don't get it, so... There we are. Uh, let's do. Come on. Yes, thank you, game. There we are, and there we are. Let's confirm this. Okay, what is he gonna play here? There's tenacity. Woohoo! Still not gonna kill these guys. Well, all of these die. He did. G Ooh, he gains 14 life. Damn, that's nice. That is really nice play right there. Okay, let's play the planes. I have Archangel Avacyn as uh, both flash, so both of these will be good. There's 5 damage to opponent's face, he drops down to 9. Okay then. Things are getting interesting, I gotta say. Very interesting. Maybe I should have let our opponent swing. Uh, that was very unexpected though, I uh, honestly, uh, during this whole thing, I was not expecting our opponent to have tenacity. That, that was quite something. So anyways, let's swing, there we are, and there we are. Our opponent's down to 5, 4, oh sorry, yeah, 4 health, 
and next turn he should be dead. Cause I think I'll play Archangel Lavas in next turn. There we are, continue. So at the end of our opponent's turn, Avacyn comes out and then I'll do Tenacity and swing with everything. Okay, let's see. There is the Tireless Tracker, what is this? That's not going to help our opponent. Oh, oh, oh Avacyn, there we go. Good. Avacyn is out. And we're set. Now we've got 10 damage, we'll be doing 13 damage to opponent's face. Ooh, do I want to do Crash of Tentacles? Not really. Uh, tenacity. <laughs> Let's do Declaration on Stone also, just because we can. There we are, 13 damage to opponent's face. Ooh. Wait, is he hoping for something that will save him? Reprisal on Avacyn. Nice, Avacyn turns. Why would you do that, buddy? Honestly. Wait, Avacyn is gonna turn at the end of the turn, right? Anyways, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Well, there you go, guys. That's game number one. I'll see you guys in game number two. Come on. I just wanna make sure that I win and the game doesn't disconnect. There we go. Okay, yeah, I'll see you guys in game number two. And we're back for game number two. Actually, if you look at the rank that I have, you'll see that this is actually game number three. The reason why I chose not to show you guys game number two, I do understand some of you say you'd like to see it, it's just the game was, I was mana screwed, I was on two mana the whole game and uh, did not get anything out of it. Um, I do know we do not have white mana here necessary, but I'm going to keep this hand in hopes of drawing into white mana. If it does not happen, well at least I got Earthwall Eliminator, right? Okay, here we are. Yeah, that game number two was pretty, pretty bad. I mean, I was down to 40 cards and I only drew into two mana. I mean, well, two lands. I, that was stupid. That was very, very stupid. Worst luck ever. Oh, well, it happens. I'm not going to be too salty about it. So, Cinderglade. We might be up against the uh, Werewolf deck. Is it possible? Ooh, Battle of Pup. Ah, oh, it's so cute. What is it? 3-1. As long as it has a one... Whoa. Okay then. Do I want to exchange it with Cerebral Eliminator? I don't think that I do. So... I'll skip the attack. Hmm. He might have a pump up for Ballot. Jeez. Ballot Pop might have a pump up for sure. There is another one. So he might as well just swing with this. And I will sacrifice Erdwell Eliminator. Ooh, wait. If I... Draw into white mana, Declaration and Stone is going to obliterate this. Now we just need to draw into white mana. <laughs> Jeez, okay, skip the attack and move on. If he swings, I'll take it, but Declaration and Stone is going to do a great job on Ballot Pups. Okay, let's hope... Oh, it was from beyond. I was expecting another Ballot Pup, but oh well. Here we go, attack face. Will he swing? That's 6 damage. And I really do hope that we draw into white man. I mean, it should be possible. Okay, he did not swing. Please. Oh, come on! What the heck is this? Skip it back and continue. What kind of BS is this? I'm sorry, guys, but honestly, this is... This is just ridiculous. We need the white mana really badly. Ooh, there's Oran. Okay, Declaration on Install goes for Oran Reef Hydra. And Oran Reef Hydra has Trample. Let's hope we draw into the damn white mana, please. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> this is ridiculously hilarious. Okay. <laughs> what are the chances? Oh well, well if he swings with the 5, I'm just gonna take 5 damage, that's fine. <laughs> okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So far, there is this. Oh great, land. This gets pumped up, this becomes a 5-5. Five, five. Yep. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, so he might as well swing with this. I mean, he should, right? 
There we go. So he swings, I'll just take it. Uh, yeah, I'll just take it. Six damage. If I'm gonna lose this game, I'm gonna lose this while laughing at least. <laughs> I cannot... Oh, excellent. Another hairball. <laughs> uh, hey, at least we can play something, right? Okay then, let's keep the attack and move on. <laughs> Seriously, what is up with this? Not a single white mana. Doesn't get more ridiculous than this. Okay, really have to draw into something. Maybe Jace? Oh, so much lands. So how much lands? Three lands. So, okay, let me see. This is going to become a 9-9. Nine -nine. That's a 10-10. Ten -ten. They all have trample. There's no way even if I blow... Oh, oh come on. Okay, I'm just gonna take it. 11 damage, 22 damage to my face. No, no amount of blocking would save me anyways. There we are. There we are. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Okay. Well then, guys, I'm gonna keep this game just because I liked it. It was hilarious being this mana screwed. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in game number three. And we're back for game number three. Game number two was way too funny. I don't know why I'm finding it so funny, but seriously, being not unlucky and not screwed two games in a row. You guys haven't seen the other game number two, but in that game I just didn't draw into any lands whatsoever. Level 8 Arkham. Okay then. Here we go. Opponent goes first. Oh, we have all the mana that we need. Let's keep this hand. No creatures, but we do have the mana, so at least that much is going on for ourselves. There's the Cinder Barrier. Barons. Okay. Ooh, double Essence Flux. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, now let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, I'll play another, ooh, there's the Indulgent Aristocrat, that's, that's not good, I don't think I'm going to press for answers Indulgent Aristocrat, not quite worth it, Doppelgeist, excellent, so let's play the planes, let's play the Doppelgeist, and we will have the blue mana to do essence flexing, uh, yep, doesn't matter even if we tap it down, that doesn't get as much, here we are, and here we are. Okay then. Let's see, if our opponent has Twin Bolt, Essence Flux will work. If he has any removal, we will Essence Flux it. Here we are, Infectious Bloodlust goes on our Vampire. It's a 3-2. If he swings, I just block and then I Essence Flux it. Here we are. Confirm. Block. Essence Flux. There we are. And now it's time to do Press for Answers on this guy. That'll be good. That's it. Okay, well, that's taken care of for now. Okay, we drew into Erdwell Eliminator. So, I think I will... I'm going to take this damage. And then... No, actually, I don't even have to take this damage. I can Essence Flax Erdwell Eliminator, and that will work out. So, we swing, we confirm. And then next turn, I will do press for answers. I will have the mana to sac uh, get one of the tokens out of the way. And on top of it, thanks to Erdwell Illuminator, I'll get two clue tokens. I mean, it's a win-win in this case. So I think it's a better case scenario. There's the Blood Flow uh, Vampire. Okay, I mean Blood Bond Vampire. Sorry about that. So Erdwell Illuminator block. Here we go. Let's confirm. Pass. Essence Flux. Here we are. Good, good, good. Wait, I could have Essence Flux this and got the Enhancement to just fall off, right? Oh well. Oh well, oh well, oh well. Let's play the planes. Let's press for answers. This, right? Is this what we want to press for answers? Or this? Well, if he swings with... Yeah, I want to press for answers this. And then... Well, if he sacrifices... Uh, so many thing, things to consider. No, I'm going to press for answers this. Here we are, thanks to this we get another one, let's sacrifice, here we go. We drew into Apothecary Gaze, that's good. I can Stoneforge Masterwork next turn and attach it to our Dual Illuminator, which is also good. So, um, skip the attack, no point in attacking just yet. Okay, well I could have attacked, our opponent would have dropped down to 14, we would have been at 17. Uh, I don't know if that was such a good choice, so 
or maybe I should have done it, I don't know. There's the Blood Mud Vampire and has haste. Oh wait, that doesn't have haste, I'm sorry, I forgot about that. Stoneforge Masterwork definitely going to Erdwall Illuminator now. There's the Bygone Bishop, hmm, no. Stoneforge Masterwork, attach it on Erdwall Illuminator. That way he can deal with this, which is good. It's a 3-5. We will skip the attack. Or, you know, I might as well just... No, no. I might sacrifice it to get the Blood Mad Vampire killed. If I need... Uh, what you do? Do I want to wait this out? And just take the damage, play Apothecary Gaze? Okay. He's making this unblockable. That's fine. If you want to swing, make it unblockable. Do it. He wasted all the mana. I'm happy. That means he won't be able to do much else. Okay, now I can sacrifice Clue, hoping that I draw into a land and do Bygone Bishop. Or I can just do Apothecary Gaze. Oh, we drew into a land. So, let's do Bygone Bishop. Pump this up. 4-6. Sacrifice. And draw. Another Bygone Bishop, which comes out next turn. Well, might as well just swing with this. Get it out of the way. There we are. Okay. Well, our opponent can make Indulgent Aristocrat unblockable once again, if he so chooses. We'll see. There's the Murderous Compulsion. Destroy target tap. Yeah, that's fine. Oh no, that's a 3-5 though now. Crap. Ah, jeez. Well, that's a 5-3 now. If he swings, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. That's fine. Uh, skip blocking. I will just take 5 damage, drop down to 12, that's no biggie. I will play Bygone Bishop, that's a 5-5 five five now, a little bit dangerous and scary. Oh well, there's the island. let's play Apothecary Gaze, gain some life. We have enough mana for Crush of Tentacles, which is pretty damn good. Really good. Now let's wait for Topple Gaze because I would like to play it with an 8-8 octopus creature if possible. Okay, let's swing, let's confirm. We're at 15, that's not bad. Here we are. Okay. And continue. So far we can take care of this with the 4-6. Unless if he puts another enhancement on it, another infectious bloodlust. Then I think Crash of Tentacles. Ooh, he might kill Erdwall Eliminator right here now. Yep, there we go. Okay, I got a Crash of Tentacles this thing now. He swings. Crap, 10 damage will take. This one I'm not willing to take. Confirm block. Okay. I need to do Crush of Tentacles. Let's hope I draw into... Please be Toppelgeist. Please be Toppelgeist, I beg of you. We're at 5 health now. Toppelgeist, Toppelgeist. Ooh. Well, we are at 5. No. I can't do this. I gotta do this. Crush of Tentacles. Everything goes back. We've reset the board. We're at 5 health, I understand. But I'll play Archangel Avacyn with the Flash. And then I might do double bygone bishops, and we'll go from there. This indulgent aristocrat, okay. And infectious blood. Oh, wait, infectious bloodlust goes back to his hand too. Crap. Okay. Well, it's a five-three. Archangel Avacyn is gonna. Oh no! It has haste. Damn it! Well then, guys. There you go. That's game. Anyways, I'll do one more game. Okay. Be right back. And we're back for the last game of this episode. That game number three. I forgot that Infectious... Uh, I should have read the description a little bit better. I'm sorry for that, Brett. Um, I didn't know that enhancements would go back to his hand. I thought they would be dropped so he wouldn't be able to play them. And I guess that was the thing that caused the game. A little bit unfortunate and I'm sorry about this. But oh well, what can I do? Okay, Arek and Quillian. Our opponent has left. He was level 13. Oh well. We'll play it. 
See how it goes. Bunch of lands. I like this. We do have the blue, so that's good. We can do press for answers. Dragon Skull Summon. Okay. Let's start off with Glacial Fortress. Go into an island. And then do a bunch of planes. Hmm, Ghostly Sensei will be good. So our opponent can play Sinister Concussion. Uh, okay. Okay. There is an island. Now we're gonna be mad of flooded, aren't we? That's very, that's actually quite possible here. Okay. Our opponent is mana screwed. We play this and pass the turn. Once we get to 5 mana I will play Costly Sentinel out. Probably. Don't want to play Apothecary Gaze just yet. Okay, Erdwall Eliminator, thank you. There is the island. And let's move on, continue. Okay. Next turn we'll have enough mana for costly sentinel. This is this sucks. I wish our opponent hasn't left and hopefully he had bare hand. I think he's mana screwed at this point. And it is really unfortunate that he is. So attack phase. Mean phase. Nothing, eh? Well, I'm sorry for this Brett Robbins. Uh, I'm not giving your deck a proper send-off, but what can I do here? There we go. He sacrificed what? Fiery Temper and Senseless Rage. Wow. Oh boy, both of them could have played for the Madness cost. Oh well. At least now I can play Ghostly Sentinel. Now I can start playing Apothecary Gaze to gain the life that we need and start swinging for 3. There is the Lightning Axe to my face. Wow. I think I gotta play Archangel Alison. Do I want to? Okay, there is the Call of the Bloodline. Given the fact that this deck's only 2 mana, he, he's surviving pretty well. Surviving really damn well, so double gaze. We still can play Archangel Avacyn. Continue. Okay, there we go. Now, there is the Cinder. Okay, there is the Archangel. He is not going to be able to kill this because it gains indestructible. Yep, there we are. Good. He gets Call of the Bloodline. Okay then. This is a pretty good card, honestly. Really good card. Especially because you can keep on discarding cards and pay the madness costs. It's amazing. So, Apothecary Gaze. And I think I'll press for answers here. Wait, do I want to or do I want to just play Doppelgeist? I think I'll play Doppelgeist. Yeah, let's just play Doppelgeist. I'll press for answers next turn, I think. Uh, this gets tapped, we swing for everything. Here we are. There we go. 5 damage to his face, he drops down to 14. Now, let's see if he'll be able to draw into more cards. Or not. Who knows. Okay, attack phase, not swinging of course, because it's a computer playing. There is another planes, apothecary gazed, I will press for answers. Okay, life gain, we go up to 26, press for answers this. Okay, we swing for 8 damage. Oh, lightning axe to Avacyn, isn't it? Oh, asylum visitor on top of it. Holy crap. Very nice play. Okay, we swing for 4 damage, our opponent goes down to 10. Okay. I kind of want to know what kind of deck this is. This is pretty good. So, Lightning Axe, Fiery Temper. Uh, okay, Elusive Tormentor is not bad. Then there's Senseless Rage, Sinister Concussion. Uh, hold on. Uh, do I want to switch trade? No, I don't want to. Anyways, uh, Sinister Concussion is good fiery temper there is this you draw a card and you lose one life not bad has a madness cost so you can describe it this grave blade marauder then there's also call of the bloodline damn that's a 
I really wish I knew what kind of cards were in here. This is amazing deck. Okay, let's see what we draw into. It's an island. Let's sacrifice. Game. You better not screw me over. You see, I could have played always watching. Like, this is... Ah, this game is so frustrating. That was four extra damage. We could have won this. That's it. Ah, game's timers are just so screwed up. I'm sorry, guys, but this is really frustrating. Honestly. Jeez. Okay, so four, five damage. We drop down to 18. And next turn we obliterate our opponent and win. There we are. We draw a card with a life. Good. Wait, I thought we draw into an additional card. Oh, you draw a card and okay. That's pretty good. Anyways, guys, that's an episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I really appreciate you watching this. And I'll see you guys in other episodes. Bye.